Hey guys, this is Rockets Don't Make Good Toasts, and I am finally got OBS, so that's good. Now, what my, no, like my, okay, Herbal Space Program 1.3 is finally out. Yay. So, I'm going to show you some of the great things it has. Man. Loading isn't bad, but when you're trying to record a video, meh. <laughs> okay. So the first thing that is quick to be noticed. Let's just take this. Hold on. The first thing that's quick to be noted is that when you have. Hey, what's the. Oh, it's twice the weight, but I don't care. When you have fuel tanks or something like this now, you can choose between parent and vessel. Of course. The parent just goes vessel. Vessel just goes vessel. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know why that doesn't work. It just does the exact same thing as 1.2. So that's odd. But. Meh. There's just some things that are gonna be. <laughs> so let's just strap some rockets on this thing. Now I usually do the whole thing with loads of auto strats, but I'm just meh for the sake of getting this thing up into the air. I think that'll be good. There we go. Now you know me. I gotta have me a Sparlagos staging. Now the last time I did it with more than two fuel tanks in this fashion in the asparagus staging it didn't work out too well. But I think this will work a lot better. And I only did it one fuel connector connecting it from this one to this one. But hopefully now that I've got it connecting to each other, it'll work out better. So of course I gotta connect it to the main tank. You know me. Asparagus staging doesn't take that long on like normal 4x4 crafts. And it actually isn't that long in making sure it survives. There we go. Okay. Let's just make sure that that's good. And then all of these in the same stage. And then I want to make sure. Okay, that's the third. So I'm going to get the third and first and bring those down. And there we go. Now, who's going to be my lucky Kerbal? Nobody, because they're all dead. I have 13 Kerbals out of a max of 12. Well, I didn't see anything different about the Kerbals, so... Let's just get one of these. Slip it on with a heat shield. If I know where the heat shields are... I always click the wrong thing like the first five times. I don't know why. It just happens. Don't judge. Meh. Okay. So I got all that set up. So let's go that way. On to the launch pad. And I never actually did get this one set up properly. Wait, no. I never got that upgraded because 
and never found a need to have a vessel over 255 parts. Uh, there are two things, two main things you'll notice right now that these kind of stand out more are the letters. Uh, the fuel meters are a lot longer, and the fuel meters over and the resource meters over here are a whole lot shorter. That's of course something to keep in mind, which is actually kind of useful. But of course, I don't find it very useful that these are shorter, but apparently they just didn't want to take up as much space. So I guess I can see that. Although there is no way I'm going to pull off an orbit in this thing. Okay, apparently that difference is a full batch of fuel. Somehow. Eh. Nobody knows nowadays. But apparently this thing is completely overkill when it comes to how much delta V you have to get into orbit. Yeah, that is completely overkill. This is another thing. You have uh, these stand out more as well. So let us just warp all the way up there. Now, of course, I don't think you've seen this career before, other than like one plane. Ah, oh. well, I know this thing has more than 1,000 meters per second with the delta V. I don't have Kerbal Engineer because I had to get rid of it since the update, but I just know, believe me. <laughs> there we go, I didn't need that much Delta V. Let's send you to the moon now, goodbye. If this actually gets, no, I won't get to the moon of Minmus or the moon. Okay, now it's in a weird orbit that'll probably eventually intersect. Eve. Maybe not. I know it'll probably intersect Kerbin at some point again. But oh well. Now, there is one thing I want to show you. And it is the main change. And it is that thing. So let's just hit gear. No, not gear brakes. Yeah. Those things are stuck open now. So everything on this is completely stuck and from 1.2 except for this. Now, this is the Centennial Infrared Telescope. It can be found in the science section. The telescope is inactive right now because I just stopped it. But what it does is that I believe is that they made it so that objects like this don't aren't found. This is yeah that they aren't found so that you don't know if you could get one or not man I'm not good at talking right now bleh okay what I actually mean is this thing tracks asteroids which are these unknown objects now when it's not tracking them you can't see them and they and this thing has to be set up in a uh, solar orbit. <laughs> so, without this thing, you can't track the asteroids. Simple as that. So now, I am tracking the asteroids, so it will pick up asteroids. It's a little complicated right now. The view is a little complicated right now, but... 
it should be fine there you go <laughs> now of course it does actually give some science you can just log observational data and I think it gives like 40 if you have like a scientist on there but normally it just gives 30 Now I think this works in high and low sun orbit, but I don't know. Again, this is my first one. And if you're wondering why it's going to that point right there and then to Kerbin, well then I'll tell you. So, I finally found out how to change some of the things and like hack parts, so I did it to, uh, relay dish and made it like the most powerful relay dish in the universe so now even when I am I take a rover with no external who comes dishes or er, comes antennas yeah and take them to the it's VA no what do you call that? The tracking station. Yeah, even then you take it to that tracking station and put it right next to one of those giant dishes. I am not wording today correctly. It will still go millions of kilometers over here. No, billions of kilometers over here and then go back because apparently it's easier so that's something Karta Carmen is stuck there forever sorry Karta you're just not useful enough to come oh and get you <laughs> so yeah that's all I have to say about Kerbal uh, Space Program 1.3 now there are probably a couple changes that I missed but you know me, I'm not the perfectionist that some other people are. Now, you might ask, why do you have these Sepatrons? Well, I will cover that in a further video. Well, make sure to keep that toast burnt, and I'll see you.